Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thanks for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In this video, I wanted to mix it up a bit, and instead of focusing on direct features and functions and capabilities, I want to provide a demonstration that focuses on outcomes. In other words, a solution to a particular business problem and how I could achieve it using Click. You will see how Click works where and how you work, whether you are on a computer or a mobile device. You will see how I use AI and conversational analytics to collaborate in real time with my colleagues to get the context to help me explore my business problem further, and how I can take action on my findings immediately by notifying and integrating with my valued partners, all from one platform. I even use a little generative AI with Amazon Bedrock as a fun example to show you the art of the possible. Let's jump right in. So let me run through a brief scenario. You will see on your left that we have the Microsoft Teams desktop app where I am logged in. And then on the right, we have my colleague Donkey Kong who's playing Candy Crush at the moment. I'm not really paying attention to his work. But that being said, I'm already in a conversation where the Click app has been added from the App Store in MS Teams and it's already configured for this group chat. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to inquire on the number of open orders by rep. So I'm going to select my bot and post my question. Show me total orders and lead time by rep where order status is open. Okay, you can see that Donkey Kong is getting aware through the notification on the mobile app, but at the same time, he's still playing Candy Crush. Okay, so we have a response now and you can see through this scatter plot we have our lead time and total orders you can see that Janelle has uh, the most open orders and uh, an average lead time over a hundred but you can see Donkey Kong only has one order with a lead time that's even slightly over what Janelle has so I'm interested in that so next with the same context already in place I'm just going to reference the bot again and ask by order number for Donkey Kong open. So now we're going to look at the order number that is open. I think Donkey Kong is going to start involving himself in this conversation. And you can see through the mobile app, he has the whole conversation and results displayed. So he can see what's going on as well. So here we have order 1986. Okay. So I'm going to ask Donkey Kong, what is this order? that is open for over 100 days. So he knows that it's 1986 because he can see it in the chart as well. And he's basically going to respond. That is the arcade stick order that is waiting on the red LEDs from the manufacturer. So this is going to allow me to investigate a little further. So what I want to look at is the possibility of other orders that might be delayed because of these red LEDs that we don't have in stock. So we're going to look at total orders by rep, open, red. Inside Advisor is smart enough to associate those values with the appropriate dimensional fields. Okay, so now what we see is we're looking at a total of four orders that are open by rep, which includes Chuck, Kathleen, and Donkey Kong. But we could also see that Chuck and Kathleen are affected by these orders because you can see that the LED color red is in the filter. So this is going to require a little bit more investigation. Okay, so I'm going to investigate further and I'm going to click this explore this further button. So by doing that, it's actually going to bring me into the ClickSense app on my tenant. It's going to open up a browser and it's going to allow me to explore further. Now you can see it also passes the question that was asked, total orders by rep, open red, and we can see the results. I could further explore through here like you've seen me done in the past, but maybe I just want to go into the actual app itself and I still want to continue exploring these analytics and I could do that by selecting you know filters so we're looking at unfulfilled not canceled orders etc but one thing I did want to mention is you can see I have these little buttons here 
and you can see our red LED count is down to zero. So we have a relationship with our manufacturer where we need to order some parts. So what I'm going to do is just change this view so you can see everything in one shot. And here's our manufacturer. So we're just going to click this order button and they use Slack. And this is going to actually send a purchase order directly to my manufacturer. And you can see, please send me a purchase order for 3,742 red LEDs. I have a new product design that requires a large quantity of red LEDs to complete the prototype. If you could expect it, blah, 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 blah. If I click blue or the blue order button, and this is obviously just a, a very fun scenario to show you that you could integrate with anything. Please approve purchase order for 37 blue LEDs to complete. So you might be wondering where that's coming from. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring into view a application automation. And this is actually being kicked off when I press that button. And then I'm also invoking Amazon Bedrock foundational models or the large language model um, to perform generative AI as a message into my Slack channel. So the prompt I'm actually sending it here is write a random five sentence fic uh, fictional message as if you were request requesting a purchase order for a random number of get expression value, which is the color of the LEDs. And then I'm telling it do not show here is response because it does that in the message. So this is our uh, Amazon Bedrock connector block. So this allows you to uh, connect to uh, a number of different models that are available from this connector. I'm not going to go into this directly. You can follow our other materials for that, but just another fun way of, you know, integrating all of the different applications together and showing you a fun scenario, how something like this could work. To recap, we started using Microsoft Teams integrated with Click's AI-based conversational analytics to inquire about open orders that our reps are working on. While speaking with the rep in MS Teams, we discovered that we had one order with an excessive lead time because of a part shortage and could not complete the product. Another inquiry showed that other reps and orders are also affected by this part shortage. We dove deeper into the analytics application where we integrated the ability to place an order directly from the app to communicate with our parts vendor using Slack and Generative AI to generate the order notification. Obviously, this is a simple and fun scenario, but you can see how powerful the Click platform is and how it can integrate with other systems to produce results and take action where and how you work. I'd love to hear your stories. Have you integrated multiple components of Click together to produce meaningful outcomes? Let me know in the comments.